Hi guys, I want to show you a new feature in MPC called Dynamic Includes and this is how it works. You open up your source file, you go to source mode and first thing you got to do is put the cursor where you want to add your include and then click on shortcode and click on dynamic include. I'm gonna call mine header underscore include. And oops, there's a typo there. Include. And I'm gonna take the city as my variable. I could choose all three or just one or none. Hit accept. Close and save my page and close the editor and when I click here I have my header include show up in there with the city as my variable right now the default value is nothing so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna build my pages and here are my pages. Here's one of them. And it's just a normal, regular page. Nothing going on. Now, I'll go back to my dynamic includes. And let's say I want to have a default value of my default value. My default width value. So I'm copying this and I'm pasting it in there and click right and this value has been passed as the default value for all pages so I'm going to close this up and reload my page and there all my pages have the default value I can go to any page and they all have the default value now for instance if I wanted to place something else on one of my pages, let's say, for instance, I want to change the default uh, value to be Google Ads. So I'm copying. Imagine this is a script. In this case, it's just an image, but could just as well be a Google script. Paste that in there, and I write that. So I've got a new value. So show report. There's my default, it has a value, and the value is my Google ad. So, let's say yes, I reload my pages. All my pages now have a Google ad. You can go to any page, and they'll all have a Google ad. Now, let's say I noticed that Amazon sells really well in Sunnyvale and here are my cities Sunnyvale, Santa Clara and San Francisco and I want to change all my pages for Sunnyvale and have them display an Amazon ad instead copy this paste it in there and now I'm telling it for the Sunnyvale pages, show my Amazon ad, and I'm writing that. And when you click on show report, show report, I see Sunnyvale has a value that's maybe different from the default. The default is my Google ad, middle ad here. And Sunnyvale is showing my Azon ad. So I'm going to come back here. Now this is a, let's see, this is a Santa Clara page. So I should have my default ad. But when I go previous and I'm back on a Sunnyville page here, there's my Amazon ad. And my Amazon ad will now appear on all my Sunnyville pages and everything else remains exactly the same being my Google ad so I'm back in San Francisco here 
and I'm back to my Google ad. You can use this dynamic includes to run all kinds of cool script, adding videos, changing out your, your uh, ads and anything else without ever having to rebuild your pages. Hope you like this video and watch out for more.